Hi, welcome to another Hacky Tip video. Today we're going to show you how to open up a Samsung T5 SS portable SSD. And the reason that we're doing this is that we're, we want to get the two terabyte MSATA out of here to use it on a Lenovo laptop. And for those of you that are not familiar with the Hacky Tip channel, you can check our video on the Yoga 2 Pro uh, Lenovo laptop in which uh, we install one of these hard drives into it and it shows you the whole process but we didn't get this part right in terms of uh, doing it efficiently without breaking anything so in this case we're trying to open this up as efficiently and cleanly as possible and we hope that we have the right tools in this case we have a exacto knife which i recommended in the previous video and uh, we have the right screwdriver it's a double zero for those of you who are not familiar with uh the sizes it says two zeros on the on the number on the side of it look it up here i don't know if you can see it but has a little num number here it says double zero so uh the other way of doing it is just testing it until you see you get the right fit on the screw when you open this up let's start and the first step is going to be to remove it has a sticker on this side here i'm not going to open the other side because i believe it can be done just with opening one side and we're going to start to peel this off and it's kind of tricky because it's very snug here and the idea is to get the, the sticker off little by little by lifting it off and hopefully without breaking it just lift it off uh, I, I already broke it <laughs> <laughs> that shows you it's not that e easy to do this, but, you know, you can always try to stick it back together. This is not going to be used for anything important, so if it doesn't look perfect, it doesn't matter. And just go little by little, a lot of patience, lifting up the stick. Well, now the, the blade came loose so you just need to tighten it see you just start lifting it little by little without there we go at least it didn't continue to break let's see if I can just peel it off and has an adhesive which is coming off also don't really want to remove it because i'm planning to put this back together so it's probably not a good idea to it's a very thin double-sided tape i'm gonna have to deal with that later it doesn't really matter so next step is to deal with the screws you see when when you're testing these screwdrivers Oh, the, the the size just make sure that it's really in there because otherwise you're going to strip the little screw that's inside and, and you see it's loosening up we got it immediately out so that's a good sign got one of them out The good thing is that this enclosure can be used to put an M, another M solder inside and use it as a portable SSD, even though it's not going to have the size that it originally came with. So the next step, which I think is going to work, is to 
I already tried sticking the blade in there and trying to lift up the plastic and that's kind of hard so the trick that I came up with is just sticking up is sticking in the cable and as you can see it's coming out just using the USB C cable that it came with so we got the enclosure out that's a good sign and uh, next step is to remove now be careful when you're doing this and I, I would recommend taking a picture or, or even a video or you can just use this video as a reference in terms of where everything goes and uh, the MSADA is right underneath as you can see it has a little protector here a little cushion just remove it little by little smoothly trying to get the best angle here so you can see what I'm doing just lift it little by little without breaking it just remove it and the placement is very important when you put it back together to get it just right and uh, see it has a little white paper there it's covering the whole SSD including the connectors and there's some white tape in certain areas so it gives you a reference in terms of where everything goes and uh, I believe we just have to take these two screws off I'm not sure I'm trying to remember how I did it last time I think you have to take this screw off so you can be able to lift it see it has a screw over here right on the side Let's put it to the side I think all the screws are this one's a little shorter so let's put it on this side these are the screws that came for the outer side of the enclosure and now we have two more screws right here and uh, this right here this piece that we're removing is the MSADA as I said before it's a two terabyte let's see if I can get these screwed up these screws out again these three are one size a little bit shorter than the, the screws that were on, on the outside of the enclosure and uh, I believe we have to lift this lift this up to remove it and I think this whole thing comes out if I'm not mistaken trying to remove the whole assembly here it's kind of tricky because I'm not sure if the, the MSADA comes out you know since it's uh, underneath the board there we go I think we're getting there so basically this this board that comes with the MSADA we're trying to separate it from the plastic you see there we go so we were able to take it out separate it from the plastic and now this needs to be removed because if you put another uh, MSADA there it needs to be on top of it so it can protect it so this is another piece of uh, foam tape I guess to isolate it from the enclosure which is metal so it's a good idea to do everything 
put everything in place as it was originally. So we need this pink one goes on on the bottom side, okay? And uh, now it's just a matter of sliding it out. And there we go. This is it. This is the M SATA two terabyte, I believe it's a Samsung brand. Um, has all the information there and uh, this can be put into a Lenovo laptop and uh, to put it back together I mean unless you're not planning to use it uh, I would recommend just putting it loosely <laughs> because uh, I can't remember exactly how it goes right now but uh, I guess I'll figure it out once I have another hard drive I'll just watch the video and put everything back together so I think this is it for now. I mean, this can be assembled together without the MSATA, but you know, if you're planning to put an MSATA, just take some pictures, watch this video and, and try to put everything back together going, you know, step by step in the reverse order. So thanks for watching. We got the two terabyte SSD out of here and uh, I believe we did this in a short period of time. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Bye.